If you're getting ready to teach the American Civil War, I want to share with you the Western Theater virtual field trip that I put together. I have a virtual field trip for both the Western Theater and the Eastern Theater, and these are designed to really bring history alive. They're not gamified or trivializing history. Instead, they are really providing an up-close view of historical sites. So for example, um, as we go through, let me just share with you here, the Cumberland River. So Fort Donaldson was located on the Cumberland River. And with the Google Earth links that are included here, your students actually get to explore and see that site up close. So here we are at the Cumberland River. You can take a look around. I'm using my mouse to pan around. Um, but if you don't have a mouse, maybe your students are on a laptop, they can use the mouse pad, um, or if they're using a tablet, they can zoom in and out. But I can push this arrow button and it'll move me right along the banks of the river. So your students really get to view the past and today. So the questions that I've included in here are all editable, so you can tailor them to meet your class needs, but I've really focused on, on critical thinking skills. So instead of recall, um, instead of just focused on recalling the text or summarizing what they read, um, I focused more on historical thinking skills. So what did they observe as they looked around the riverbanks? Um, this really just makes the connection piece. It holds your students accountable to their learning. And throughout this trip, there are video links included, there are Google Earth links, and everything is set up with the informational text in here so that you can move through this trip um, with all of the background information. It's a great way to really bring history to life. So um, I've done my best to really focus on many different perspectives. So you'll see in here that um, I talk about the enslaved African Americans who found refuge in union camps. Um, we focused on just the uh, not only the Native American perspective, the African American perspective, but then also women who were involved. So for example, one soldier who fought at the Battle of Stones River was Frances Elizabeth Quinn. So this little video shares her story. Um, so as you go through, you can look around at the different sites. So if I click this Google Earth link, um, it takes just a moment to pull up and you'll be able to see this site. So you can compare, this is um, an artistic piece, but you can compare that with what it looks like today. So here we go. I can pan around and take a look at this site today. All right, so everything in this trip is set up and ready to go to save you lots of, of prep time. Um, you can find this trip as well as the trip to the Eastern Theater in a discounted bundle. So if you're looking to really save your prep time, you can buy both of those in one set. Um, so here you go. I'm just going to share with you one more of the sites today. And again, you can see how you can move around. You can actually walk around and move around. So I'm actually moving through this tunnel. So really get a pretty good perspective of this historical site. Okay, so uh, I will share the link so that you can take a look at this in more detail.